Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, we are now in part two of the class, okay, of fundamentals. Hmm? Okay. In this uh, class, okay, in this video, I'm going to teach you the PIM book, components of the PIM book, the project life cycle, and the project management process group, sir. Okay. Okay, let's drop this and let's start. Okay, we're talking about PIM book. Okay, PIM book. Okay, first thing, what is the full form of PIM book? Okay, you need to understand this important project management body of knowledge. Okay, knowledge, 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 knowledge. Okay. So it's not book of knowledge, it's a body of knowledge. This is the first thing you need to understand, okay? So what is, it's a guide. A guide to project management body of knowledge. Okay. What are the components of the PIM book? Okay. PIM book is basically something called as GP. Okay. That's called good practice. Okay. What does good practice mean? Good practice means what? If you use the knowledge in the PIM book, okay, from the PIM book to a project, okay, you're going to have nine of the ten times hmm, successful, okay. So you have a high success rate. That's the meaning of good practice, okay. Another thing, component of the uh, PIM book is called generally recognized. Generally recognized means what? Generally recognized. Generally recognized means what? What is the meaning of generally recognized? Okay, you know what is good practice? Application. Okay, generally recognized means what? It is an agreement that if you use the application of the knowledge of the PIM book, okay, you can use this knowledge, okay, to most of the project, most of the project, most of the time. What does it mean? Most of the project, most of the time. What does it mean? Okay. Most of the project, most of the time. What does it mean? What does it mean? Most of the project, most of the time. What does it mean? That means what? Let me just give you a very simple example. Okay. Let's suppose. Okay. This is your room. Okay. One small room. Okay. And there's another room here. Hmm? You have a door, and you have another door. Okay. This project. Okay. Let's say there's a table here. Okay. I want to move this table from this room, room one, to room two. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is, okay, do you think in this project, okay, this simple project, I want to move the, the, the chair from this room to this room. Do you think every knowledge, you have 10 knowledge areas, okay, in the PIM book. Do you think everything we should use? No, not surely not, isn't it? That means that's the meaning of most of the project, most of the time. Okay, so which knowledge area we use? Something called as tailoring. Okay. okay. Good. Hmm? Okay. Another thing is called a standard. Okay. Uh, important thing. The PIM book comes from this standard called, derived from this standard called ANSI. Okay. The American National Standard Institute. Okay. The PIM book derives from the standard called ANSI. Okay. There's another thing called as a common vocabulary. What does common vocabulary means? means what, what does it mean? It means that if, for example, okay, if I say a project charter, project charter, okay, everybody knows what's the meaning of a project. Everybody speaks the same language. That is the meaning of common vocabulary. Okay, there's one more part. It's called what? Code of ethics. Hope this much part is clear. This much is clear. Okay. So this part two. What is PIM book? What's the full form of PIM book? What are the components of the PIM book? Hmm? Hope this much is clear. Let's move to project life cycle. Okay. So let me just rub everything and let's start there. Hmm? Talking about um, project life cycle. Something very very easy and uh, interesting. Okay. Actually, PMP is very easy. Okay. Project life cycle. Okay. Project life cycle. 
what is a project life cycle? I give you the definition and then I come with the example, okay? Generally, I don't do this method, uh, but let's see for this, okay? What's a project life? It is a series of phases, series of phases, a project passes through, project passes through, from beginning to end or to completion. I think if I uh, talk about this example, I think my example which I taught in part one, the six o'clock uh, example, okay? Okay. This is best example for project life cycle, six to six ten. This is phase one. And then we said uh, phase two. Hmm? Then we said uh, phase three and so on. So, isn't it? Phase n. So, what is the meaning? Series of phases, a project passes through from beginning to end. So can I consider this actually a project life cycle? Isn't it? Series of phases, series of related phases, let's say. Phase 1 plus phase 2. Hmm? This is a project life cycle from a start or from the beginning or concept to retirement or completion. Hope this much is clear. Hmm? Okay. Now the next part of this uh, video is what did I say? Project management process groups. Okay. 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 Initiation. Planning. Execution, monitoring and controlling, closing. Okay. Initiation planning, monitoring and controlling, closing. Okay. Just want to tell you one thing, okay. Sometimes in uh, big, big projects, okay, we have many, many phases. Let's say phase one, phase two. Hmm? And in each phase, this process group occur. That means there is initiation, planning, executing, monitoring, and controlling, closing. Okay? This is full in this phase. Again, next phase, initiation, planning, monitoring, and controlling, closing. Hmm? This is what I want to inform you. This is a very, very important concept. Okay? The relationship between project management process groups and project life cycle. Okay. So what is initiation? Initiation means what? Starting. Okay. Okay. When do you think a project will start? Okay. There is some many many things before a project starts. Okay. This let's say this is a pre-initiation. Pre-initiation means what? A thing, concept, or activity before the start of the project. Okay. Now my question is okay. When do you think the project officially started? So this is when. Your project uh, charter is signed. Okay, the project is signed. You know, your project started. Okay, okay. So, before the project is initiated, okay, before the project is started, okay, there are some couple of activities which occur, okay, which is called uh, need assessment. Is really this project worth doing okay and then there's something called as a business case done by the who sponsor hmm? and then we have something called as benefit management plan okay this is all components of uh, this is a component of the business document hmm? okay hope this much is clear hmm? Okay, once the, this is, so let me just consider this as a little detailed uh, class or let's say summary class, maybe in the next video or something, I'll explain this in much, much detail. Okay, your project charter is signed. Your project charter is signed. John, the PM, arrives. Hmm? He is, okay, John, you're going to be, you know, assigned to the project. So, project manager is assigned. Where? In the initiation process. Okay, the next process, okay, let me just uh, rub this, okay, so we don't make things, uh, you know, confusing for everybody.
sorry. Hmm? Okay. In the next process, that is, uh, which one take yellow? Yellow is better. Okay. We make something called as project management plan. We're going to plan. Plan means what? How? Okay. How are we going to do this project? How are we going to execute this project? And the project management plan okay, is done by the project manager and is approved by the sponsor. Remember this. It's done with approved by the sponsor. Okay. Hope this much is clear. Okay. So we make a plan. Okay. Like for example, okay, I want to go from here to a place B. Let's say I want to from here. I'm here. This is start. Okay. And end. I want to reach here. This is my end point. Hmm? Okay, so before I go there, I have to plan, isn't it? How much time will it take? How much cash will I require? Isn't it? How much time will it take? Okay, and this is my end destination. This is my scope of work, isn't it? To reach here, isn't it? And what all constraints might be here? What all difficulties which I may find, isn't it? This is all in planning, you know. Okay. So once you have planned, okay, you finish the project management plan, that's the output of the planning. We hand over this plan to whom? Our team. Our team does the execution. Execution means what? Putting plan to play. Hmm? That means what? You execute the project. Okay. In execution, you have your deliverable. Okay. I call that work deliver in the form of work performance data, isn't it? This is what I have finished it. Okay. Okay. After execution, okay, after execution, what do we do? We need to make sure, sorry, we need to make sure that what we produced output, the uh, output of the execution, hmm, is what we planned for, isn't it? Doesn't make sense if it does not, isn't it? So we said execution gives you output, a deliverable product, let's say. In monitoring and controlling, okay, we compare, we compare what? We compare the output, the execution output, output and project management plan. Okay, we enter this to monitoring and controlling. This is the inputs, okay, of monitoring. Output will be what? If both are okay, project management plan is equal to the output, okay, the project deliverable, let's consider, you know, you're happy, you're moving forward. If they are not equal, if they are not equal, sometimes they may not be equal, okay, then we do something called as change request. And this change request is done in integration through some board called CCB, change control board. Okay, this uh, change control board, what do they do? Change control board, what do they do? They might approve it or they might reject the change. Okay, the change. Suppose they approved the change. Okay, let's suppose they approved the change. Approved what? The change. Let's suppose they approved the change. Then what will happen? Two outputs will be updated. One is what? The baseline. Another one is your project management plan. Hope this much is clear. Okay, if everything goes for okay for for like example, uh, project management plan is equal to project deliverable. Okay, in closing, the the sponsor or the customer signs, agrees, accepts the deliverable, and we return back to our reserve. Hope this much is clear and uh, let's see each other in the next class. Okay. Thank you and uh, have a nice day. Bye.